Hello everyone, thank you all for being here. My name is Yael Rosenberg and I'm a PhD student at the Faculty of Computer Science at the Technion under the supervision of Professor Alex Bronstein. My research interests lie in the intersection of learning algorithms in the field of physics. This inverse design algorithm is a collaborative work with a great group of Professor Adiria from Tel Aviv University and Daniel Friedman from Google AI. In this work, we show a systematic approach for designing 3D nonlinear photonic crystals and pump structure for generating a desired quantum state between structured photon pairs. Our goal is to learn the parameters governing the SPDC process to generate any desired quantum state. And we're going to do so by solving a well-defined inverse problem. SPDC is a second order nonlinear process where one photon from a strong pump field in a nonlinear material with high second order susceptibility spontaneously splits into two daughter photons called signal and idle. The process conserves energy as well as momentum, whereas momentum mismatch may be compensated by periodic falling of the crystal. The fact that the photons in this process are always created in pairs makes them useful for single photon sources, as measuring one photon helps the presence of the second photon. An even more interesting use of these sources is the fact that the photons created are naturally entangled in various degrees of freedom. Furthermore, this process is simple to implement, works at high rates at room temperature with relatively standard equipment, making it a very popular process for creating qubits for quantum applications. Introducing structure into the SPDC can be done using either structured pump by SLM or using specially designed crystal with custom cooling. This is very useful for generating high levels of entanglement and generally for tailoring the output, for output properties of the bifoton state, showing vast interest in the research community. Inverse problems is the task of calculating the unknown physical properties that ca characterize the system from a set of observables. It basically answers the question, what is the system designed for generating a required physical phenomenon? Introducing physical constraints will improve predictive accuracy and statistical efficiency of the model by removing physically implausible predictions. The scientific procedure can be divided into the following three steps. Discovery of minimal set of model parameters whose values completely characterize the system. Discovery of physical laws allowing us to make predictions. Use of the actual results to infer actual, uh, the actual values of the model parameters. Selecting the right form model is crucial and we wish to have the following properties. It should provide us with an observable quantity that fully describes the physical process. It should be well understood for validating the results and it should be modular. It should be so, uh, suitable for complex design and it should capture the entire solution space such as, such as this diffraction and high order effects. And hopefully it should be differentiable. This will allow us to use the most recent learning methods on our problem. These processes are usually stochastic, making it a hard task. Following the work of Dr. Miles et al., we modeled the SPDC along the nonlinear crystal by solving a, a, the Heisenberg equations of motions for the SPDC Hamilton. This essentially boils down to solving a large amount of two pairs of coupled wave equations and derive its statistics to describe the quantum process. This model was validated against experimental results showing great correspondence. The model is naturally stochastic. We done a great deal making this model fully differentiable and we integrate the model in our architecture. We solve the coupled wave equations via split step involving very large amount of quantum vacuum state injected as a random external node, allowing us to differentiate through the form model and apply any optimization method for learning physical properties, completely overcoming the inevitable stochastic nature of the model. Through the nonlinear coupling coefficient, we see how we can actually control the spatial degrees of freedom and engineer high level of, of uh, entanglement. We see that the responsibility can generally be given to the pump or the crystal and learning them together allows us for more degrees of freedom in implementation. The parameters we learn can be general as we want up to any resolution given by the technology. Then they can be experimentally implemented 
using SLM and three-dimensional photonic uh, crystal thanks to exciting recent, advance, recent advances in this technology. Finally, we fully define our inverse problem mathematically. Our physical parameters are the pump and the nonlinear material, and they are related to the observables through a well-defined forward model. Now, given any desired observable, we learn the inverse problem, uh, uh, we learn the inverse design, finding the, param the physical parameters, producing them. The algorithm searches the optimal parameters in a wide uh, parameter space to reduce the discrepancy against the observable via an appropriate loss function. The model is fully differentiable and is optimized using backpropagation and first order optimization method Adam. Now we will show some results. As mentioned, the angular momentum of the photons is conserved and the interaction is conserved. We'll design a 3D nonlinear photonic crystal, inducing maximally entangled states while keeping the pump simple. The second order correlation will serve as an observable cal calculated at the end of the interaction by projecting the states in the Lagergaard space. The discrepancy measure is taken to, to suit discrepancy between probability distribution, such as L1 and kullback liberal divergence. In these examples, we take the pump to be a Gaussian and we learn the 3D holograms that yields the coincidence rates obtained by the Q treats and Q quart on the left. Then we use the learned crystal and the given pump inputs to observe the approximated, approximated coincidence rates. The diagonal structure with uniform probabilities at the state subspace in line with our expectations. We now learn the 3D crystal hologram to produce bell pair with signal and idler photons carrying equal units of orbital angular momentums with opposite sides, signs. At learning, we take the problem to be Gaussian again, and the results in line with our expectations. Now we hold the crystal hologram and change the pump to the Gauss 01. While changing the pump, momentum conservation will result shifted correlation function as can be seen. So we get a, a functional crystal acting like a switch. While the resultant coincidence rate agrees with the whole different quantum state. In these examples, we see that our model is inherently physically constrained. Even though the, the, the inverse solver was introduced with the desired coincidence ra rates that only contain the elements belong, belonging to the orbital angular momentum subspace. Comparing these finding, findings with experimental results of Kovlakov confirms that indeed our model is physically constrained. Our next example is quantum state engineering. First, we let the algorithm learn the 3D hologram, um, a 3D hologram and the pump structure jointly and separately and using the quantum state density matrix associated with the desired orbital angular momentum state. Then, we demonstrate the, fence, the phase sensitivity of our algorithm by learning the parameters inducing the quantum den uh, density matrix associated with the qubit. And then we see how phase variation in the pump are reflected at the output state. The density matrix is calculated through sequence of projective measurements of second order correlations and quantum state tomography. And the discrepancy measure is taken naturally to be the trace distance. In the first example, we take the 3D, uh, 3D crystal hologram to be a Gaussian, and we learn the pump structure that we lead the density matrix corresponds with the quantum states. Next, we show an example that we take two observables, the density matrix, as well as the coincidence rates, and we learn the crystal which, while taking the pump to be a Gaussian. Lastly, we learn the 3D crystal hologram and the pump jointly, that we leave the density matrix correspond with the quantum state. We then use the, the parameters to observe the approximated density matrix as can be seen. Comparing all three results, we see that stability, that, uh, we see the stability of the results learned confirms that the responsibility of engineering the quantum state can be generally given to the pump or the crystal or given jointly to both of them. Our last example is phase sensitivity of algorithm. We start 
with learning the 3D crystal hologram that will yield density matrix corresponds with, Q, with qubit quantum state specified above. The pump is not learned and is taken to be Laguerre like Gauss 0, 01 plus 0, minus 1. Then we use the learned crystal and the given pump as inputs to the form model to observe the approximated density matrix. Interesting note, if we look at the effective polling that was learned, we see that we get learned, we, we get learned a, a superposition of zero, Laguerre Gauss 0, 1, zero, minus 0, minus 1 by the hologram. That state will essentially result in eliminating the diagonal elements of the coincidence count, count rates as defined uh, by our desired state. Our next step is to keep the parameters of the crystal and vary the relative phase of the pump to see how it is reflected in the output. Looking at the corresponding results, assure that our algorithm is sensitive to phase variation, which is clearly reflected at the output stage. If we take a look at the last two examples, we see that the coincidence rates are very similar. Although the way to distinguish the interaction is highly apparent at the imaginary part of the density matrix, which explains the importance of this observable. So to summarize, we started with solving the inverse problem for learning the physical parameters for structured photon pairs, uh, quantum state engineering. We are now extending the world to simulate and learn also spectral properties. We are also designing another algorithm that will learn a family of solutions. We are going to show correspondence of our results with interesting experimental results. And we will soon publish the code for the benefit of other, other research institutes that are interested in implementing our solution. Thank you all for listening. I will be happy to take questions either here or by mail.